So now, let us take a look at how to sketch the function for the cosine function. So what do we do? Again, you can see that this A is standing for the amplitude. So B helps us to find the period, which is period is equal to 360 divided by 10. C gives us the principal axis. The principal axis means that our y will be equal to C. Now, let us take a look at y is equal to cos x as a function. So now, from this function, we, can, we are able to show that our a is equal to 1. So it means that this function, when we sketch it, it will be going as high as this 1, like a distance of 1, and also Another distance downwards it should be also one. That's what this means. And then the period, the period when we divide it by the coefficient of x here is this one. So when you divide, you're going to get that this is going to give us standard degree. What does it mean is that every cycle, so the cycle will be taken as standard sixty degrees. Every after standard sixty degrees, it will be rotating slowly. Let's say, for example, if the function was like this, it means that here there is a triangle like this. Zero, one, negative one. So every other triangle has six degrees, this function will be repeating itself. Again, after three hundred and sixty degrees, again it will repeat itself. That's what the period implies. Now, having found this, sketch now, we have to come up with a table of value. So table of value is x, y. At this we are able again, we are able to identify that the principal axis here, our c here, is as good when you compare it with plus it, 0. So our y, our, our principal axis will be y is equal to 0. And the equation of the line y is equal to 0 is given in what the x axis. So now, when we are coming up with the table of value, we look for the digits and one digit in which we are going to. We can move in 30, we can move in 45, any or even in 10. But we have to be very careful that we pick a number which is going to, reach, to help us draw or sketch the function such that it fits the page. If we use 10, we are going to find that it will be very long for us to reach up to 360 degrees. So in this case, we are opting for 90. So we are going to move from 0 <coughs> to 90. Again, plus 90, it gives us 180. Again, plus 90, it gives us 270. Again, plus 90, it gives us 360 degrees. Now, in order to clean up this box, this is as good as we have already found the values for x. So what are we going to do here? If x is this, y is equal to cos x, what is our x? x is this. What is cos 0? 0. Cos 0 is this? No, it's 1. Cos 0 is this? 1. You are going to right? You can check. It's one. Cos zero is one. Right? And then again we go to cos. What is our nine? What is cos nine? Zero. Cos nine is it? zero. What is it? Cos one hundred and eighty. It's going to give us negative one. One. For 270, it is going to give us 0. For 270, it is 0. So again, what is cos y? 
So you can see this is how you come up with the table of value. This table of value is the guide for you to come up now with the escape. How do we escape now? It means that along the x-axis, we are moving from 0 up to 360. So we start 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees. This is the x-axis. The y axis, we have 1 and negative 1. This is the amplitude. You have been told that this function, and you have discussed that already the principal axis is the x axis. And then another thing is that uh, this, this one is showing us how far the function will be rotating, it will be moving. So it will go as high as 1. At the bottom, it will also move from the principal axis up to the distance of 1. If, if this is negative 1, when we measure the distance, there is no negative distance. This means that we are moving from 0 to 1 in terms of distance. And then we start plotting out. Here we have 0, 0,1. 0, 0,1 is here. 90 will always start with x, 0. Then we have 180, 1. 180 is here, comma negative 1 will be here. 270, comma 0 to be here. And 360 degrees, comma 1. So the function will be. We will label it to be y is equal to cos x. So we can see that the, the cosine function, the cosine, the cosine sketch can be differentiated from the sine sketch. Why? The cosine function starts from the on the y-axis, whereas the sine function starts on the x-axis. That can easily help you differentiate it when you are sketching. That please make sure that you have that in mind that the cosine function always starts on the y-axis, and the sine function will always start from <coughs> the sine function will always start from the x-axis. That difference will help you always remember where you are starting from, when it is a sine function, and where you are starting from when it is what? The cosine function.